Well, I mean, we were able to override the governor's veto on the redistricting map. We needed a constitutional majority of two-thirds of our members, which is 109, and we had 109 votes to override the map. Can you step back just a little bit, um, can, can you characterize the politics that surrounds a redistricting process? Oh gosh, I mean, that's a that's a big question. I mean, obviously there are a lot of people that are interested in, you know, in redistricting and what the maps look like. It's an important thing for the state. So, I mean, it's, it's something that's fairly intensive. It's arduous and there are a lot of people that have a lot of different opinions about it. A veto is a matter, it's a numbers game. So we have to make sure all of our members are here first. And this was the first day this week that we had all 105 of our sitting members present in the chamber. So that's why we went this morning. Because we, we also knew the sub may go home later in the week for the flood situations down in southeast Missouri. I mean, you know, three of the four Democrats that voted today were voted for the maps along the way because they believed that they fairly and adequately represented the districts and the areas that they were from. Um, we added one Democrat today to get to 109, and he was from the Kansas City area, and I would point out that both Democratic senators from that area voted for this map over in the Senate. So it's a map that represents Kansas City well, the city of Kansas City well, and it's also a map that represents the city of St. Louis well, and that's why the Democrats voted for it. They actually had the courage to vote their districts and not just vote along purely political lines. And the, just one more question then. When it comes to an issue of fairness and, and you look at the map of Missouri, does this map in your mind represent the fairest distribution of population when it comes to a dropped congressional district or oh absolutely it does i mean when, when you when you take a look across the map the the, the lines are compact and you, know, you have to compare it to what it was before and you have to compare it to the other alternatives which were there before us okay and i think when you take a look at all the maps as a whole that were presented that this map is the map that fairly and adequately represents all missourians map the map passed both chambers in a bipartisan basis and obviously we just overrode the governor's veto on a bipartisan basis. So it took Democrats throughout the process to get this done, and, and this was done because the map is fair.